Hello, I have been thinking about this for a bit because I was writing a story. I think I might have mentioned it before. And it's an old story that I've had for decades and decades, like most of my stories. And, you know, I'm writing it again. I had applied it a while ago um, to a new sort of geographic location. And I thought I would use the um, legend of Atlantis. Now, the legend of Atlantis is interesting because the source of this for modern people is Plato himself, you know, estimable Plato, highly estimable. Uh, I don't like him, but you know what I mean, still. Pretty good source for a legend like that. Of course, if you don't know, it's not an underwater city. It's it's supposed to have been a, a, a continent sized island you know for lack of a better description that sunk under the sea something like 10,000 BC if I recall correctly okay now uh, he says it's outside the gates of Hercules which is the Straits of Gibraltar I might be getting some of the terms wrong you know check me I'm doing this off of memory just because I thought it'd be interesting because I just got this screen capture software a while ago to do the video tool and I realized, hey, I can finally get Google Earth accurately. All right, so an interesting thing happened. I was thinking where around the world could I find a sunken island? That's what I need, a sunken island. So I'm looking around, where could I make, you know, Atlantis? Now, uh, there's some islands in the Caribbean that, uh, Edgar Casey thought of, but I was just looking around using, using Google Earth, and I noticed this big patch here, right? That's pretty good. Well, here's the Strait of Gibraltar. That's the gates of Hercules. There it is out there, about 700 miles. Now, let's look at that. Look at that. These are, this area here is just hundreds of um, feet below the surface. Now over here is thousand it is hundreds to thousands. It slopes down. But I mean, this looks like an island. Now I'm just talking about making a fictional story. So you know, suspension of disbelief and all that. And I, I believe in hard science fiction, but you find something like this, it's okay. Now there's something else super cool about finding this spot and why I found it. And what's cool about having found it is that this is where these plates come together this is the North American plate you know along here down here is the African plate this is the European European plate right here and these islands that are still above the surface are the Azores okay now another cool thing I found when I was looking look looking at this okay well, this is on the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, right, where the, you know, it's all a mountain range, the middle of the Atlantic and undersea mountain range. But okay, look at this. Here's some really interesting uh, anomaly feature here. It's obviously not an artifact, if you like Dutch sense here. Look. What the fuck is that? Okay, so this is from, my understanding is, this is from deep sea scans that the government, the U.S. Uh, government or whomever has done. That does not look like an artifact. It's, uh, well, let's, let's see the size of it. I believe it's about 100 feet long. Oh, not a polygon. Where's the measurement tool? There we go. Yeah. centimeters that's going to just let a good list to miles American oh 100 and no 80 miles roughly and then this way is 100 miles so that's the way that's 100 miles okay so right and so here is this thing 
These are under C mounts. It was hard to find how far under, but these are just a couple hundred feet below the water here. And then there's the Azores. And this is... So in my fictional thing, I was having a tough time thinking of maybe this. This is definitely the island here, but what about this part? Is this a big bay? Are these above the... You know, I don't know. I decided to make these kind of... Uh, the most easily flooded of, um, you know, plains, and that this would all be the island, this big section here, and then this is a broken up area. Anyway, kind of interesting, it definitely, and then down here, that thing, what the heck is that? that that's real. Whatever that is, that's real. What the fuck? So, okay, I love this stuff. It's called Fortean. Fortean. Charles Fort with an E. All right, you gotta love this uh, Google Earth stuff. There's all kinds of stuff you can look in there. Um, all right, 